So pretend, so pretend that this is the next morning. <laughs> And we just had our cup of coffee and we have panels like this all over the, all over the place. And I just forgot to tell you, um, real quick at the beginning of the video, we, uh, CDX plywood is a great plywood to use on flooring. Um, it's like marine grade. It doesn't have the sealer in it, but these vinyl is uh, waterproof. Water doesn't go through it. The glue is a really good waterproof. If you do want to proof it, go to Home Depot and get you some of that green water sealant if it makes you feel better. We don't use it. We've been doing this for over 10 years and we haven't had any issues. Not one issue coming back. So now, you see all these grains in here and you see this cut and we're just doing this for example, but you see the knot holes. On the back side, that glue fills those. So I wouldn't really worry about the too, too much of the little, you know, the grains in the wood and the little holes. You're not going to see it unless it's really naughty. You'd want to make sure when you're buying the, the CDX at Home Depot or Lowe's um, that you look for the plywood that's not warped. And uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and fold that over really tight. He's going to pull on it really tight. And you can use a stapler, an air stapler, that at uh, uh, Harbor Freight for only $19. We use the same thing's been working for five years, and we got that at Harbor Freight for $19. Um, staples, I'd recommend. It's, uh, you can either stainless, galvanized, or if it's going to be in a jet boat, you can just use steel. You're not going to see it, and they're going to last at least 15 years. Um, I'll leave that up to you if you want to spend the extra money for the staples. So we're going to go to a corner. We're going to be cutting this corner. We're going to go around a corner here. Just going to go to the edge. And there's several people out there doing it different ways. This is just the way we do it. We don't want it to be too thick uh, when we're uh, putting the panels back on. If it's too thick, you'll have a big bump in the corner and it doesn't look very good. So we kind of try to cut a lot of this fabric away. So now what he's doing is he's pulling that down to cover that corner. And now he's just gonna staple it. Okay. Now he's going to pull the other one. It's overlapping. See, it's overlapping. And now he's going to... And again and again and again on the next corner, same thing. Hopefully this helped you guys out to learn how to do a corner. Uh, maybe in the future we can show you how to do an inside corner. Thanks for watching.